water's beautiful. The scenery is nice. The fog yeah. and all that, it has a vibe and everything. But for some people like ourselves, we can only do that for so long. Right. So we're trying we're to ready get... ready to go back. I just nap it out, me. That until reminds... we pull up, like... That reminds... <laughs> you talking about nap. Oh, yeah, I'm going to That reminds me of our trip. Um, our boat tour... Oh. Off of the coast of... In New Orleans. San Diego. San Diego. Oh, in San Diego. Okay. Yes. Going out into the water, we were so happy. Me and the kids, we was like, look on the water. Look the sharks. Look the <laughs> yeah, dolphins. Yeah. All that. Halfway to going out where we was going, we was throwing Bruh, up. I just... <laughs> we was sick. Yeah, yeah. We was ready to go. Good, y'all. It's, it's the Doom Machettes React and we're back, back with, with another, another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. Let's Super go. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. One of my passions is travel. Over the last few years, I've done a lot of world travel, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do Canada's Road to 150. Mm. I want to experience what Canada has to offer and showcase it to the world. Canada's Road to 150 is a 150-day road trip across the country. In this road trip, we want to show to all Canadians and the world the beauty of this country through its landscapes and cities, but also through its people and history to really find out what makes Canada so special. My husband Matt and myself, we're gonna be traveling across the country and we invited our friend Justin Brunel, who is an amazing filmmaker and is gonna make, make possible that you enjoy the trip with us. I think that this is a very important project to do because Canada is a massive country. It's the second largest country in the world and it's really hard to see the entire country. And even if you live in Canada, there's chances that you have not seen all that there is to see in Canada. And even us being on the road for 150 days, we are not going to be able to see the full extent of what Canada is. But this trip will really help us see the best of the best and give us a little bit more of an insight on what Canada really is. Yeah, they have a nice focus with this one, especially doing the 150 in Canada. Um, it gives the, 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 the people of Canada fresh breath, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. to view and see all that Canada has to offer. And it's a very important thing for tourism because for the tour people, like when they yeah. want to visit Canada, channels like this helps them get a whole new insight, you know what I'm saying? Yes, because a lot of times, you know, Canada has that stereotype that is just cold. Facts. Yeah, you yeah. know, so when people think of cold, they're like, okay, what else can we do up there? When it's cold. Right. Mm. So this is cool for us to watch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in St. John's, Newfoundland for day one of our 150-day road trip across Canada. This is Canada's most eastern city and one of the oldest in North America. And as you can see behind me, this is one of the things that makes St. John's not only so famous, but so beautiful. The multicolored townhouses that were built hundreds of years ago. There's a tattoo shop. Really? Yeah, we did. Yeah, there was a tattoo shop. I mean, this is one of the things that makes St. John's not only so That's famous, but so see beautiful. Someone show. multi colored awesome. townhouses Look. built hundreds of years okay. ago. Okay, all right. And tattoos. This is where Canada begins and it's also the eastern gateway to the Canada Park System, which includes over 209 national parks and national historic sites. Right. So from here on out, we're heading west. Several similarities 
between the views of what we just saw and Bocap okay. in, in Cape Town, South Africa. You know, it reminds me of, um, dang it, it's something about a great hope. Oh, Where that um, are... it's a trail. Yeah. And, and when you enter, it has that nice logo uh, slang that says uh, the southernmost point. Something like it's something like with the hope of something. Y'all let the us great know. Hope. Great Isn't hope. Isn't it called the Great Hope? Yeah, Cape of Great Hope, I believe it's Some, called. Similar to that. And then the bow cap um, houses. Yeah. You know, so like mm -hmm. how they colored it. I follow after, you. Yeah, yeah. After the um. The ending of the slavery times. Yeah. So that is cool, you That's know, seeing some similarities between yeah. Canada and South Africa. Big time, big time. Let's see where we going. Glaciers, come on, man. So we just went on a great trip on O'Brien's boat tours out to the Witness Bay Ecological Reserve. Took you up to the islands at the reserve to see the puffins and the icebergs today. Uh, generally, this is a place where a lot of nature comes together, kind of like the northern Galapagos. So we're here on the Atlantic Ocean and we're here to see icebergs and my favorite birds, the puffins. Being here is like totally different from other places in Canada. And St. John's is actually known as the foggiest, cloudiest and windiest city of all Canada. St. John's traffic, St. John's traffic, this is Cabo de Stara, and we are inside two miles, ETA, Fort Amherst, approximately one five minutes over. Listen, I already don't like water like that. I don't. I'm trying to arrive. Like, this, can this, we get off the water? Right. This makes me think of the Titanic. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know about this one. Have y'all been on this tour? Like, is it always foggy, or is it like just a certain time of year? Are those waves always jumping like that? Right, because... Instantly, it's a no for me. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Instantly. I don't got no surfboard. I ain't about to be out there on the water talking about something. Stop. I'm just, <laughs> bruh. Stop. I'm trying to get where the beauty at, though. The water's beautiful. The scenery is nice. The fog yeah. and all that, it has a vibe and everything. But for some people like ourselves, we can only do that for so long. Right. So we're trying we're to get. We're ready to go back. I just nap it out, me. That so reminds me. Like, <laughs> you talking about nap. Oh, yeah, I'm going to That reminds me of our trip. Um, our boat tour oh, off of the coast of in New Orleans, San Diego, San Diego. Oh, in San Diego. Okay. Yes, going out into the water, we were so happy. Me and the kids, we was like, look at all that water, look the sharks, <laughs> look the <laughs> yeah, yeah. all that. Halfway to going out where we was going, we was throwing Bruh, up. I just, <laughs> we was sick. Yeah, yeah. We was ready to go. <laughs> So we was quiet. So our race. back was to where we was leaving from, and we was looking strictly at the water. You know yes. what I'm saying? They had a long piece of uh, landmark where the pigeons and the sea, uh, oh, yeah, not pigeons, yeah. Lord Jesus, uh, seagulls no, yeah, and seagulls. Um, steels and stuff and all them was, yeah. you know, chilling. Yeah. And then like about 10 minutes in the ride, we turned around and we didn't see nothing. Nothing. We surrounded by water. And I'm like. Yeah, like we just in here. In so this I said, let me make my phone calls now. <laughs> Stop. Hey, I ain't lying. I started calling people. I was like, y'all look where I'm at. He did. He was just in case. Alive and everything. <laughs> just in case. Right. right. We're going to get screeched in tonight, which is what? What is a screech in? So a screech in is how you become an honorary newfie. So basically, you have to kiss a cod and drink a shot of screech. I've heard the one we're doing is a big ceremony, so I don't know what this is. Oh, God. Right. Yes, this is a real Newfoundland cod. Oh, in the back. Yes. Hold it, it's a bit. Oh. So then, it's and we can't have a drink without mm. having a toast. So please, everybody. Y'all didn't tell us that y'all be getting down like this. Mm. Tell us a little more about little that. Traditions and, and things. Then, I mean, it's like it's a um, it's like a. It's like a, uh, um, God, what is the word experience? I'm looking for? No. It's, it's like a welcoming, almost. Oh, okay. Like a, you're in Canada type yeah. of energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These are one of the things you do to feel at home in Canada. Mm, okay. Kiss the fish. I'm going to kiss some fish. Hey, take the shot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Newfoundland. Yeah. <laughs> live in a society that thrives on diversity and we have a superb quality of life. Talk about you it. can't get that anywhere else in the world. Come on, Dennis, talk about it.
people here are so nice and so kind. I think that makes us unique. St. John's is the oldest city in North America, and it's really apparent as you're walking around the streets visiting all the historical buildings and old houses. One of my favorite parts about St. John's is the colorful row houses that dot the city. It's actually one of the things that makes St. John's so iconic and Newfoundland so unique. Newfoundland is an amazing province. It's the perfect place for an adventure. There's so many things to do here, so much nature, a lot of wildlife, but most of all, the people are just so friendly and welcoming. Gross Morn is a great place to get back into nature. I felt so calm and relaxed there with all the fresh air and the wildlife and the wind going through the trees. And every now and then I'd look at the ocean and it looked like it blended right into the sky. One of the things I noticed about Gross Morn is you need a lot of time to drive around the park because everywhere you look is just an incredible, beautiful postcard image. Gross Moor National Park is filled with such incredible landscapes. You'll have landlocked fjords, coastline, tons of forests, lots of wildlife, and the famous tablelands, which are home to the only place in North America where you can walk on the Earth's mantle. Mm. The thing about why I love this place when I come out here in the mornings and I look at this, I see mantle rock. When I look over here, I see beach that are millions and millions and millions of years old. And I, I realize in the scope of things how miniature we really are. The beach, when you come and stand out the here. beach, the beach, the water. Oh, okay. You get what I'm saying? Thinking We're looking for the sand swimming. and stuff and things of that yeah. nature, but the way the beach is set up is more like a greenery. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's All definitely right. different. It's like. Yeah, you get on the boat, you can go you can go places. Okay. There's a lot of wildlife here. We had a chance to see a lot of moose, bald eagles, whales, and even caribou. For me, Newfoundland is so unique and different from the rest of Canada. Like with its colorful houses and the people, the people were amazing and it was what made this trip so amazing. We headed to Twillingate, Newfoundland, where it was so incredibly windy, but we couldn't miss it because it's the iceberg capital of the world. Unfortunately, when we were there, the harbor was filled with pack ice, so the big boats weren't able to get out. But luckily, a local fisherman brought us out on his little boat, and we were able to stand on a mini iceberg in the North Atlantic. You know what? Like, what an incredible moment that will They adventurous. They cutting up, man. They, they cutting up. Hey, they're going to have a lot of memories to talk they about. They cutting up. I was riding the boat. Listen. Man. Just zipping through the ices and stuff and yeah. okay, get when you gotta get moving around town. Listen, I don't like water. So just take a picture of me, you know, you know how you can make the illusion that I'm standing on the water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just do that. <laughs> well, take a picture of me here, we're gonna crop me out there. Okay? And just copy paste me on the ice. Lord Jesus. <laughs> That's different. I wanna hey what's the Celsius you guys of this water? Like how what's the temp? Ooh. How cold is this? Ooh, very cold. Look at all the ice. Guys would be stupid cold, like. Yeah. But we've seen places where water's like really, 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 really cold. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I just need to hear this from you guys, how cold it is over yeah. here. And I do want to ask before I forget, what is the significance of the color houses? Like y'all yeah. painting the houses that color? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there's a story. Paint the city, man, for real. <laughs> Never forget. Trinity used to be the most important and largest city in all of Newfoundland. Now it's a small town filled with tons of historical buildings that you can go in and learn about how they used to live back in the day. That was our dog. <laughs> That's the sound of comfort. <laughs> Newfoundland. I just love the people and I think that it's so different and unique from the rest of Canada because of its beautiful houses, they like their music, on the and even their food. <laughs> Newfoundland is special for so many reasons. Normally I would say it's all the landscapes and the parks and the wildlife. It's really a place that if you want to get into nature, this is the province to be in. But after being here for these two weeks, I can say that the people are really what makes it special. 
Even though we experienced so many things during our 12 days in Newfoundland, it just wasn't enough time to see it all. And I just can't wait to come back and explore further. Thank you so much for watching. To learn more about what... I want to end it right there, man. Um, Go watch the beautiful. rest of their tour. I like it. I yeah. feel like when you visit a place and you spend at least two weeks there, you can tell whether or not you can spend the rest of your life there. Mm -hmm. you, you're trying I to mean, move somewhere after two weeks. I'm <laughs> saying like that, like your comfort, you know, everything about that location, you're like, you really get involved there. And you mm -hmm. want to do things, you want to relax, you want to meet the people. And after a while, you'd be like, yo, this is now my norm mm -hmm. but will i be able to do this forever type right. of energy and you can tell within i feel like within two weeks yeah newfoundland looks amazing with all the views the ice of course y'all know that it's very different from what we're used to mm -hmm. so that's mm -hmm. a cool place you know this was cool thank you guys so much for sending this in we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us like this video subscribe Turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way, as well as our reaction request form is in our description, description box below. below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.